I was literally down a rabbit hole researching the Federalist Society and its connection to Project 2025. And how that led me to Originalism, Opus Dei, and SCOTUS. And stay with me on this one because I can already tell you that this has twists and turns and it starts with the Federalist Society. The Federalist Society was founded around the Reagan era. It began in law schools by a group of law students who believed that conservative values were superior. And their primary focus has been to shape the judicial system in our country. And when you go to their website, they list Mitch McConnell as one of their contributors and one of their heroes. And don't forget that when McConnell came on the scene, he promised to deliver the judicial system. And he has been working over 40 years to turn our judicial system into the hands of the Christian nationalists. So based on that alone, you can see how deeply involved the Federalist Society is in our politics. It's also important to know that the Federalist Society beliefs are rooted in originalism. Originalism is a type of judicial interpretation of the Constitution. They believe that the Constitution should be interpreted and understood as the original writers intended it to be. And that means at the time it was written. What does this mean? It means that any amendments that have been added that expand human rights, that create a social safety net for the disabled, it's all on the chopping block. A major player within the Federalist Society is Leonard Leo remember that name. He is the chair of the Federalist Society. The Federalist Society also is funding and is contributing to Project 2025. Leonard Leo is single-handedly responsible for recruiting and delivering the conservative SCOTUS members. And they're just not conservative. They are originalist in their ideology and five of them are Catholic. And that is where we get to Opus Dei. Opus Dei has been around for a long time. You'll have to do your own research. But according to a former confidant of Leonard Leo, Opus Dei not only disagrees with the separation of church and state, they believe in church over state. Guess who else is linked to Opus Dei? Harrison Butker. When you consider SCOTUS's recent rulings, a ruling that basically gives Trump king-like power, a ruling that eradicates government insight of workplace safety, public health and the environment, a ruling that eradicates rules regarding bribery of government officials. It is clear that the SCOTUS judges that have been hand-selected by Leonard Leo, who are Catholic and originalist in their beliefs, are paving the way for Project 2025. If you go to stopthecoup2025.org, you're going to find a PDF that lays this out in a real easy to read diagram. It's also going to hand you all the talking points that you need to understand the threat of Project 2025 and how deep this goes into our government and religion. We are at a point in our nation's history that if we do not vote to stop Trump, this may be the last time that we ever have the chance to vote. Trump wants to be a dictator. If you are not terrified, then you are either not paying attention or you're complicit. Stay awake, use your voice, and please, please vote.